Hello parents, I'm going to go through the first phonics workshop I would normally do in the school hall where I explain to you uh, what your child will be learning in nursery and reception and then looking forward to where they will need to be by the end of year one. We actually teach our phonics or sounds, letter sounds, through a scheme called RWI which basically is, means Read Write Incorporated, but we tend now in school just to call it phonics. The next thing you need to understand is that the alphabet has 26 letters, but in English there are 44 sounds that those letters combined can make. All of the resources I'm going to show you can be found on our school website under curriculum under reading and phonics and all of the things are in that folder that you would need. I'm also going to send home paper-based copies of the letters so that you can use those to chop up and then make words with them. I'm also going to send home the speed sound chart so you can assess how your child's doing. And also I'm going to send home the first worksheet that's going to help you practice the words as we move forward. The next person I want you to meet is Fred. So this is Fred and he helps the children learn their letter sounds and all of the teachers use Fred because Fred talks in pure sounds not in letter names. At this stage we don't teach the children the letter names. The last thing you'll find on our school website is this useful chart that tells you the letter here and then we have a picture hook that we tell the children and when we first start teaching phonics we use that hook first of all also to remind them how to um, do their letters and handwriting but also then we move away from that picture hook into the pure sound. So these are the flashcards for set one sounds. So we have set one sounds, we have set two sounds, and then moving on to set three sounds. Today we're going to concentrate on set one sounds. You can actually buy the flashcards off websites like Amazon and they are worth the investment if you've got a child in nursery because you will use them all the way up to year one and you can actually use them into year two. In nursery, we tend to do one sound per week. In reception, we do three sounds per week. And by the end of the autumn term, we are aiming for our reception children to know all 31 set one sounds and also to start hearing that blend to make words. To start off with, we teach reception just in their classes, but then after six weeks, they are assessed and what we would normally do is we would teach phonics across reception and year one but obviously at the moment we can't do that and therefore we're having to teach different stages within the classroom so it's really helpful if you can consolidate and help your child at home practice what they've been learning in school thank you we teach the children that the sounds are either stretchy sounds or bouncy sounds and whether they are stretchy we stretch out the sound and bouncy sounds we do short, sharp bounces of the sound. When we introduce a sound, it always has a picture cue on. So this is Maisy Mountain Mountain. Maisy Mountain Mountain. And the graphene, the, the letter M. Mm, mm, it's a stretchy sound. S snake. S snake. Snake. The 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 dinosaur. The 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 dinosaur. The tower. Tower. So when we first teach the sounds, we look at the hook, which is the picture, and then we teach the sound. So the hook of the picture and then the sound. 
And when we do it with the children, we make sure that if we show that side, they're saying mazy mountain mountain, but if we show that, it's mm, really important. As children get more confident, we move away from the picture hook to the sound. So then we would just teach the sound. The reason we teach those five sounds first is because then we can start blending. And if you refer to your worksheet, it tells you on this column, the words that you can make with those sounds. So we start with A, T, A, T. Join them together, A. Two different sounds. At, at, at. Mm. A, d, m, a, d, ma, d, mad, mad, mad. Sad, sad, sad. Sad, sad, sad. Sad, sad, sad. Um, Sam. So we do a lot of work on teaching the children to blend those sounds together. Some children pick it up really quickly and that's all really good, but some children do spend a lot of time and they can't hear that blend. So what we do is call, we, we do something called assisted blending, which is basically us saying the word to the children and, and hoping that they then catch on. So we get t and an alien word. Following on from the first initial five sounds, we then work on to the next five sounds. So that's I, N, P, G, O, I, N, P, G, and be really careful not to do that uh sound at the end of sounds because then it makes it really hard for the children to hear them. So for this sound, p, 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 make it short and sharp. And the next four, k, k, o, b, 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 it's a bouncy sound, b, o, we teach the children we've got two different graphemes two different letters that make the same sound so by now your children will have learnt 14 of the initial sounds and we're going to run through those now so we've got mm, And then alongside those, we'll be teaching the word time one, word time two, and word time three. At, at, m, a, d, mad, mad, s, a, sad, sad, d, ad, dad, dad, m, at mat mat s at s 
sat, sat. And word time two. In, in, in. On, on. It, it. An, an. And, and, and. Pig, pig, pig. Got, got. Dog, dog, dog. Sit, sit, sit. Tip, tip. Pan, pan, pan. Gap, gap. Dig, dig. Top, top. And word time three. But in bin, get get met met cup cup cat cat it kit up up mud mud bad bad can can. Cot, cot, bed, bed, but in bin. Once we've gone through those quite often with the children, we then teach something called Fred in your head. So the children will eventually not need to sound out the word before they read it. They Fred it in their head, as we point. And then we push the word out to them when we want them to read it. So we give them time. Sat. Mat. Dad. Sad. Mad. At. One last thing to think about is when you have a double sound at the end. You don't need to go k -k. So for instance, let's put these sounds together. S -o -k. S -o -k. Sock. And this one. B -a -k. B -a -k. Again, a word time three. It does come with practice and don't be worried that if you're actually doing it with your children, they come out with something that's completely random. It is normal. It's a normal stage. What you need to be doing is doing something called assisted blending, which is basically saying the sound so clearly, but in that elongated fashion so that the children can start to hear that you're saying those sounds, but you're basically saying the word. Don't be worried if your child does something like this, where you're going d, og. They look at you quizzically and they'll think, well, they want me to say a word, so I'm just gonna say fish, because they, they, they want to help so much. So don't be worried about that. Try and break it down and just short, sharp bursts of practicing with this will get the children here. This is the hardest thing that they will need to learn to do to be able to read. Once they learn the art of blending sounds together, they then just have to learn the other sounds and it's the same thing, but just with different sounds. So to make this one easier, for instance, d -o -do -g, dog, 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 and you're basically saying the word for them. Don't be discouraged if it takes a while. It's a hard thing for them to learn because not only do they have to recognise that is a D and that that is a O and that is a G. They've then got to put it together and hear it in their head to be able to say what the word is. It's a hard thing. So now you're all set up to practise with your children word time one, word time two, and word time three. And while you're doing that, the teachers will be busy teaching the next group of sounds ready to teach word time four to seven. And then I will do another video to help you with that. 
thank you again for all your help. Please persevere with the children. What they are learning to do is something amazing. They're learning to read. So finally, all I want to say is that normally we'd meet in the hall at two week inter intervals in order then to discuss how your children is getting on. If you need any help, I am able to WhatsApp parents if they need specific questions answered, or of course you can get me on the uh, gates in the morning. I'm more than willing just to go through something with you. Thank you.